Yo guys, what's up? It is Nate Egan from Egan Visuals here, and I'm finally bringing you guys another tutorial. It's been like a month, um, but I'm about to show you guys how to do the VHS effect, and uh, I'll show you guys what it looks like real quick, and then we'll get to it. Alright, so I've seen a bunch of different ways of how to do this exact video effect. Um, you know, creating the old style looking video. Um, so I'm going to show you guys exactly how I did it on my new video from times like these. If you haven't watched that yet, please go support it. Um, I spent a while recording that and putting it together. So yeah, I'd appreciate that. Anyway, so I'm going to give you guys a download link to this folder called Aspect Ratio Overlays folder. So um, it's going to be in the description. It's probably going to be on AdFly, so all you have to do is click the link, uh, skip the ad, whatever. If you have an ad block on, it might not work, so you might like turn it off for a second. It's like a five second ad, whatever. Skip it, download it, um, and then you'll see the 1.5 classic, so we're going to bring that in here. Uh, make sure this is at the top. Uh, make sure it's above all your adjustment layers, too, if you have you know color correction adjustment layers. So we're just going to put this up there. Um, so... As you can see, it's, it doesn't really cover as much as a 4-3 four, four, ratio really would usually. So what I did on this video was I created a duplicate. You just uh, hold Alt and just drag the clip up and make a new one. Or you can do copy and paste. And uh, I unchecked uniform scale so it has a, I can scale the width. And you can kind of like play with this. Um, so you want to go backwards a little bit and kind of just drag it until like kind of seems right. I know this seems very um, not precise, but I feel like if you put this on 95, I think that's like a good look that almost looks like 4.3, but not exactly. Uh, I think 4.3 is like just way too scrunched together anyway. So yeah, so there you go. You have the bars. It's already creating the 4.3 ratio look, but it still looks too clean. Um, for the video so what we're gonna do is we're gonna I'm gonna give you guys a download link to this overlay oh wrong part the hell did I go oh here it is <laughs> alright so I'm gonna give you guys a download link to this overlay this video overlay called VHS glitch <laughs> for free so once you get it you wanna make sure it's above your video clip and below the um, ratio bar is because you don't want the effect going on the outside. I'll show you guys real quick what, what I mean. So uh, you, you're going to want to scale to frame size. So you're going to right click and press scale to frame size. So make sure it covers the whole screen. Um, in blend mode, you want to do screen instead of normal. So it, you can see it, obviously. And so this is what happens when you don't, when you put it above the bars, it kind of like goes over it and kind of just like, it just doesn't sell the idea, so you want to make sure you put it below it. So then you'll have this. So it looks a little bit more um, believable. You can change the speeds on this too, like you know, like if you need like a certain effect or need it fast or even slower, it's like you can change it. Um, what I just did was well, I just like copy and pasted it throughout the whole thing and just had it loop. So all right, so now that you got the bars on the side, you got the glitch overlay. Um, if you watch the video, it still kind of looks um, like modern footage still. It kind of doesn't sell the whole whole vibe very well. So what I did on my video was I created an adjustment layer. You can right click over here and do new item adjustment layer. Or you can go new or file new adjustment layer. Uh, I'm sure there's probably a shortcut for that. But yeah, so what you want to do is make sure that your adjustment layer is below the bars because you don't want the color affecting that black bar on the side and make sure it's above everything else besides that so so the whole point of the adjustment layer is that when you drag this color correction effect that we're about to bring over it's gonna like anything that's under this adjustment layer is gonna be affected by that color correction so we're gonna go to video effects color correction and then lumetri color um, so I'm not sure exactly I think I've heard that 
lower versions might not have Lumetri color. I remember not having it at some point as well, so um, there's multiple different ways that probably, you know, achieve this look. You can probably use like the three-way color balance or whatever, so I'm just going to use Lumetri color for this one. So yeah, I go to creative. Um, I don't exactly remember how I did it, but what I did was I lowered the saturation for sure. Um, took the vibrates down. Pretty much like what I wanted to do was kind of take the quality out of it and like the colorfulness a little bit. And definitely want to add a faded film. That is major. As you can see, the more like you add it, like um, takes the black out a little bit more, and it kind of just makes it look a little older. And then for look. I just added a uh, SLBIG LDR right here. So for this type of clip, this coloring, I thought this looked pretty cool. Um, it just makes it look so much older. I'm not <laughs> not sure exactly why. And it makes the, the blue on it just makes it look so good. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, for the color correction section, I would highly recommend just messing around with the colors because different clips give all different vibes and you want to achieve different colors uh, depending on whatever projects you guys are working on. So yeah, hopefully that was helpful to some of you guys. If you guys end up using this effect in one of your videos, please link me. Uh, I love watching you guys' stuff, so just email me, DM me on Twitter, Instagram, uh, mess me on Facebook if you find that. <laughs> And um, yeah, so please, if you can support my new video, that would be great. I'm trying to get a lot of support on that. So I'll put the link in the description. And uh, that's pretty much it. So have a good one.